What's up guys? Welcome to the TAB show and today we're going to be going through what's in my bag for 2020. So the main message I want you guys to take away from today is that with creating photos and videos you're telling a story. Don't get lost in the gear and camera you're using. Focus on the story and the message you're trying to deliver. The gear that we have is just going to supplement that message. Rather get the story, get the shot done with what you have because the time you're going to be finished with collecting all the gear the story is going to be like five years old. It's just going to get lost in the wind. But on that let's get into this. Okay, so let's start with the main section. So in here, I'd have the A7S2, which I'm filming with now, and uh, the 24-70 Zeiss F4. I'll give you a little bit of B-roll shot there. So the next thing, talk about the bag. Got a Lowy Pro DSLR Video Pack 150AW. Yeah, so this bag actually was my downsizing bag. Because the previous bag, I could fit all my kit in, every single lens and everything I had and the bag started to get heavy and you know, kill me. So now, this is my, my minimalist setup. So the next thing I have in here, Sony a7 II and I've got the Zeiss 55 1.8, this is like the photo beast, 24 megapixels and it's my upgrade from the 5D Mark III. Then for film, I have my Canon AE-1 program worth 28mm f2.8. The next thing I have in here, Sony 28mm f2. And inside each Sony, the A7S2, I've got a 256 gig uh, Lexar. And in this one, I've got a 64 gig Sony. So what I like to really do with the, the SDs is that, is to have it big enough so that I don't have to swap out throughout the shoot. When I'm shooting, it's not something that I have to worry about when I'm gonna hit capacity, am I gonna have to change and whatever. All I need to worry about is battery life and shooting. Then into the top section, the first thing is road video micro. Then I got some straps, so I don't, generally I feel like straps make the body look a bit untidy. This is I use for when I'm doing street photography or just walk about. This strap is a Joby sling strap. This thing is great, it ties into the bottom of the body so you don't have to loop it through with uh, you know the rings and stuff. Next thing, Tiffin fil uh, filters. This is for uh, the Sony lenses, they're all 49mm which is amazing. I've got variable NDs for the 77mm. So on the topic of filters, I'm just going to elaborate a bit about this because I was shooting with someone recently and uh, they do video and they didn't know what ND filters were, so I was quite shocked. ND filters stands for Neutral Density Filter and basically they are like sunglasses for your lens. The reason why you need them is that with video, you need to maintain a 180 degree shutter rule, which means you need to just have your shutter speed double your frame rates that you're shooting at and basically allows you to limit the amount of light coming in and let you shoot at low f-stops in the middle of the day. So what happens is you get also a variable ND and say you're getting a bit too much light you just turn this thing this way and then you can see poof it gets dark. That will allow you to shoot at any time of the day and the first time I shot of this I was blown away with the images. The next thing Spear film roll, Kodak, Color Plus 200, I think it's one of my favorite batteries. So in this little pouch here, it's got all my batteries. So I've got three in the one side, another one over there, and another three in here. So in total I have seven spears and excluding the one in each body, which is like nine in total. That's why I know throughout the day I have enough memory card space, I've got enough battery power, so once everything is charged and I'm ready to shoot, I'm ready to shoot the entire day without any break. So the only thing I need to worry about is, is making sure I, the shots are, are what I want it to be. Then, so for audio, oops, little, small little dead cat. This goes onto the Smart Lab Plus. This is what I'm using over here, Connect to the Rode Wireless Go. Another thing I have in here, Sony headphones so this is to monitor the audio when i'm on a shoot one other thing in this little card holder business cards you know you got to market yourself i think that's it guys so that's all the kit i have in my bag for 2020 the main key is just to shoot and get the shot don't 
waste time swapping lenses and making sure you have this and that i hope you guys enjoyed going through my bag other than that i'm not going to be changing much in my gear the a7s2 i still have 4k quality in there which i haven't really shot much with my computer now i can handle it a7 II, the images are still super sharp the best thing about the two bodies together is the batteries are comp cross compatible and the color profiles I can sync quite well. I'll put up an example now of something I shot recently where I have the A7 II as a B cam, the A7S II as an A cam. Straight out of the camera that looks almost identical. That alone for me is a reason to not upgrade and change any of them. And that's it for today guys. Stay inspired and I'll see you guys at the next TV show.